Good morning everybody. Back out on a beautiful day in Whitby, although clouds say differently. It's forecast rain at some point today, so I'm probably going to get absolutely drenched, but I don't care. Just come off a 13 hour shift yesterday. Very, very long day. I need a day's collecting out. It's been a week already since, uh, since finding all of that crinoid. So uh, yeah, I need a day out. Maybe even come out tomorrow if I can, uh, my old knees can hack it. So yeah, hopefully a good day. Hopefully a few nice finds. Stick around at the end of the video again. I'll, uh, I'll be showing you one of my rarest ammonites later on. It's an absolute corker. Size of it and all is pretty, pretty, uh, pretty good for the uh, the rarity of it. So yeah, stick around at the end and uh, you'll see that. So let's get started. So literally just gone to one of my little spots. Seeing this nodule, I think. Oh yeah, look there. Right there. There's a little ammo poking out. Maybe a Hildy. Looks like there's one worn there actually too. I'll open that up in a bit, but for now I'll just stick it in my bag. Yeah, good start. It's a pretty good start this morning. I already picked up some nodules, but just come to this little spot. Look at that. Beautiful nodule right there. That's got potential. There's some of that pyrite nodule that somebody split open. There's a dac there, look. Another nodule right there. That might... Yeah, I'm not sure about that one, actually. We'll whack it anyway in a bit and uh, soon find out. Yeah, great. Look at that. Literally just picked up that. Just your classic dac. Lovely. There you go. There's literally 20 minutes already. Got a nice number of uh, unopened nodules to split. Some of them might not have even anything in. I bet most of them are probably uh, septarian nodules, but I'll split them off open anyway. I tend to put the gloves on because I'm sick to death of uh, battering my hands at the minute, as you can see. So, yeah, set this up and let's go. Bad one. Not a good start. Very good, very good. That's that one that I found earlier. Mac. Mm. That's on it, that's it. it. Yeah, that's pyritic. Yeah, Ben, you don't want to open up. Bad split. <laughs> what a surprise, septarian. Really bad. Plenty of nodules. All duds. No septarian. Couple nothing in them. But hey hell. On to the next uh, next little bit of the bay and we'll see if we can get more. Well, 
this is the uh, first decent find of the day. Nice pyritic duck. It's for a nice size too. Probably about three and a half, four inches. Really pyritic nodule light, but I can deal with that. Straight in the bag. Happy days. So, have a little break now. Been running for all, all morning and not been much found. But, 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 I've got more crinoid. <laughs> there are a bit more showing inside one of the one of the uh, the blocks where I got it from last time, the previous time. So I'm gonna take that back. It's quite a large size block. I've got plenty of bubble wrap in my bag for once this time. So uh, I'll be taking that back at least. But I've left it there for the time being. Hopefully hidden away enough so nobody finds it. But you know, you just don't know whether somebody will pick it up or not or notice what it is. But untrained eye i don't think nobody will notice that so that's good might have another hour or so around here and then uh, start walking back and might have another few hours or i might even head to another beach because low tide's 10 o'clock it's half past seven now the rain is looking like it's gonna set in it's looking pretty dark so uh better put my coat on and uh, and get ready to get wet so uh i'll share the grinoid in a bit all right let's go so i come completely forgot to uh, video the crino to show you so uh, it's all taped up and bubble wrapped up now so I'll, I'll show you when I get home like I say no way I'm taking all that off now that just took ages gotta protect it right time to, time to head back look for a few more bits check out another spot from the other crinoid that I found the other week and see if there's anything else coming out of that so let's have a look got to be careful but look at that Straight out and into my hand. Nice little duck. Should be all there. Happy days. What a uh, dud of a day this is. Uh, this has been. Yeah, uh, not many finds other than the crinoid and a, a few ducks and whatnot. But I suppose it's important to document, you know, the bad side of everything. You know that you're gonna have bad days and you're not gonna find much because i don't think a lot of people show that you know you just people show loads of fines loads of fines loads of fines and they don't show the days where they find nothing which is pretty much like a day today so you know it is what it is we plod on i'll be back out tomorrow at a different location hopefully we'll have a better day tomorrow if not oh well well didn't film anything around here and there were no need to Absolute dud. Just a couple of bad split nodules. Nothing even worthy of flipping, taking back and gluing or filming. So, I think that's it. That's it for the morning. We're gonna, we're gonna head back home now. I'll show you the crinoid when I get home and uh, also show you that rare ammonite that I found a while back. So I'll, uh, I'll see you all when I'm home. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment on all that crap whatever the hell i don't care i just enjoy doing this and it's fun so yeah i'll see you when i'm home so just got all the bubble wrap and tape off i mean it's a big piece you look at that with hammer next to it <laughs> nothing really really showing tell but uh, there so all the crinoid runs all the way all the way to the end you can just about make it out that you probably can't even see it down there but it runs all the way along that's a big big piece of shale <laughs> that might take a while to prep for that one so, as promised, I'll uh, show you one of my rarest ammonites. To most people, it probably wouldn't look like anything rare at all. Looks like most normal ammonites, but this thing's pretty damn rare. The condition is about 
as good as what you can get with them. The middle of them isn't there very often, so there wasn't really much hope for it anyway, but it's more or less all there. But it's the size more than anything, it is thick. So I'll show you. So yeah, this is it, it's a porpoiseros. I think it's a porpoiseros vortex, but I can't quite remember. Still actually need to finish this side. It still needs a bit of a braiding. But this is the worst side. Has all these lovely little spiny tubercles that run along. But look at how thick that is. That's an inch thick. And turn it over for the best side. Whoosh. Middle's not far off all there, so that's always good. But I mean, absolute stunner of an ammonite. Nice mouth border. And that is just beautiful. Absolutely cracking ammonite. The only one I've ever found. Never found any others. So yeah, that sits uh, proudly in my collection. Highly doubt I'll ever get rid of that. Just absolute brilliant. Oh yeah, and a quick little peek. Crinoid from the other week. But you can't get to see that yet. So yeah, hope you all enjoyed the video. And uh, I'll see you next time.